Hey, how you doing? My name is Jibon. Welcome to my channel. And today I am going to talk about why I have been living completely barefoot for the last six years in the beautiful paradise that is Boreen Ken, where I have been living for the last 11 years. I was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York, where I was so disconnected from nature and so disconnected from the self. And so I became nothing but a product of my environment. And so now I have been on this beautiful journey of self-realization, a journey of change, removing my many layers of conformity. I quit drinking alcohol, became vegan. I grow my own food. And one of my layers was wearing shoes, sandals, sneakers, what I now call foot cages. I own none of that now. And I live completely barefoot. I even go shopping barefoot. That's right. I even go shopping in my bare feet, the way nature intended, the way we were born. And I have found my inner wild child and living as authentically as I could. So why, why do I live barefoot? Well, started six years ago when I became vegan I was practicing grounding and I was also looking for ethically, affordable, ethically made um, sandals, which I could not find. And so I am also an environmental activist living this simple life. I also thought, well, you know, I tried to live this as much as possible a zero waste type of life and consume as less as I could. You know, I haven't bought clothes in, in, in about 10 years. If I do buy something, it's gonna be used. Just like everything in my house was found in the trash. And you can see a video about that. So I decided to consume less and so shoes, you know, we always have to buy new shoes, new sandals every time is one less thing I have to worry about. And so I decided to go completely barefoot. And what an exhilarating experience it has been. So I gave it a trial run in the beginning and I never looked back. I decided to go full throttle on it. And um, yeah, pretty much grounding, earthing, it has, much to do with it, which is the process of connecting to the ground um, with your feet. I wrote more about that on my website. You can check that out. But I enjoy the different sensations and the different textures of the ground. I savor feeling the grass beneath my feet, the rocks, the sand, the water, mud. I, I enjoy feeling everything because my feet have come alive and the ground comes alive and I feel this energizing feeling when I connect to the ground. You know, I even enjoy walking in the supermarket floor and feeling that, that cold floor or, or on the hot pavements. Um, you know, I, I, I don't think I could do this in New York because the concrete jungle is just that, just concrete. There's nothing to really walk on. But I would like to go back to my cage that was New York and try that out. But I am, in, I am enjoying living barefoot here because why not? You live in tropical paradise filled with nature. It also has many benefits. Um, I, from what I read, being barefoot could 
boost your immunity and I think that is true because I have not gotten sick. Many people were concerned with me walking barefoot in the supermarket during the pandemic. But I feel, you know, I am unvaccinated, but I feel that being barefoot is my vaccine. I am also much more agile, faster, nimble, and balanced. You can see me running through rocks like nothing, while everyone with their clunky foot cages are unbalanced because I believe these foot cages hinder our natural movements. My, I, I, I feel like I regained my natural posture, my gait. Um, yeah, I always see people in nature and they are so unbalanced and, di and, and discombobulated. You know, oh, I can't walk on the rocks. I need my civilized path. I need to walk on the straight concrete floor. That's what all we know. And that's another thing, you know, um, being disconnected from nature has people unbalanced as well. Unbalanced in life, unbalanced in general. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think we are robbing ourselves from experiencing this because, you know, being barefoot is the meaning, being barefoot and feeling everything. That is the meaning of being alive. And I think we need that. And I recommend everyone to go to nature and just remove your, your foot cages and connect, connect to nature connect to the ground, connect to earth, you know, but, but ultimately one reason, but ultimately the most important reason why I'm barefoot, you know, you know, people always stare at my feet in the supermarket, even kids, the kids are always, you know, people look at my feet, what is that? Is that a foot? What is that? I've never seen a foot before. And kids always look at me and tell their parents, why is he barefoot? Because I know, I know they're thinking, they're thinking, why is this man barefoot and why can't we be barefoot? Because our parents put these foot cages on us, they put these shackles on us, and so we conform. We can't walk on that dirty floor. Oh no, how dare you walk on that dirty floor? And so we conform to these shackles um, but ultimately, I don't care what people think because I don't live for others. I live for myself where before in New York, I lived to impress other people. I really don't care what people think on how I live. You know why? Because ultimately I found my peace. I found my happiness. I found my freedom. I found what makes me happy on how to live the way I want to live, not how society tells me I should live, not how, not, not how civilization tells me how to live, me. And so that is my journey, to find what is my true happiness, my true nature, my higher self. And yes, I'm so happy. I'm so happy, you know, many are concerned about the invisible glass that's everywhere. Mm, I'm not concerned with it. But another reason why I'm barefoot is because I practice mindfulness. And so I'm very mindful where I, where I step. I'm very mindful where I step. Many people are worried about parasites going into your feet and all that stuff. I don't live in fear. I really don't live in fear. You know, you, you can't live in fear because if you live in fear, you never live at all. But anyway, Allow me to show you the feet. Allow me to show you the feet of a wild, wild man. And this is the feet of a wild, wild man. The bare feet of a wild, wild man. You can see I have really thick soles. These are my sneakers. These are my shoes. These are my sandals. They are priceless, one of a kind, and I never need to replace them because the skins get replaced by themselves. And you know, I have really smooth feet too. They're really smooth. Many people don't believe that I have been uh, barefoot for six years. 
but rocks, jagged rocks are my exfoliants. They remove the dead skin. I have really healthy feet, no fungus. Look at my toes, look at it, look at it. No, no, <laughs> no fungus. I mean, look at the other feet here. You can see that. Really healthy feet, no fungus like you get with um, foot cages. Really healthy toes. <laughs> yep, that's the feet of a, <laughs> of a wild, wild man. So yeah, it's um, it's been a it's it's been a great journey. So yeah, like again, I recommend everyone to take off your your shoes and free your feet. Um, so I hope you guys like this video. Please like, please subscribe. Um, please leave any questions down below, any comments down below. Please visit me on all social media at Radically Wild and my website RadicallyWild.com. Be wild, everyone!